Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for this video. If you are tuned in for this one, I am guessing you have already watched one of my virtual workshops. This part is specifically about attire. So uh, right now we're working from home a lot more. We're doing these video conferences and the question comes up pretty frequently. Okay, so I'm not in an office, I'm not at the workplace, but I'm still working and I'm still able to be seen. So what exactly should I wear? Don't worry, I have you covered today. So what we're gonna do in the next few minutes, we're gonna go through some ideas for what you can, what you should wear if you are appearing on a video conference for work. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at our first outfit. Here it is. So that really was not cool. I know it's it's work from home right now, but remember the first word in the phrase work from home is work. So please don't show up to any video conference in like your pajamas, uh, a, a shirt with like a ketchup stain or a coffee stain on it, or like your, your PE top from sophomore year high school. That stuff is not cool. So step it up, look like you are going to work, and let's try something just a little bit different here. That was absolutely doing the most. You don't need a three-piece suit, or a two-piece suit, or a one-piece suit for a video conference. So let's try to scale this down just a little bit, and maybe try something a little bit more like... Okay, okay, we are finally getting there. That was way better than a three-piece suit. But honestly, you probably don't even need that level of formality if you're doing a simple video conference. Although, that will look pretty cool in slow motion now that I'm thinking about it. Slow motion can make you look so cool, right? Slow motion, people, slow motion. Just walk around like that all the time, just going real slow. Okay, let me get back to this. So, we've gone through three outfits today. And as you can see, there's not like just one outfit you can completely wear every single time for every occasion, even if you are doing a video conference. So, do you need to put on a full suit? Nah, not really. Do you need to even go business casual? Probably not. So what do you do? I think it's simply this. It's simply a matter of treating the people you are meeting with virtually, just like you treat the people you meet with in person. So if you wouldn't wear it out to see someone in person, then perhaps you shouldn't wear it virtually either. It doesn't mean you have to go over the top, but it's simply, I don't wear anything that's like dirty, <laughs> that's like um, ripped, that like is too loose or too tight, that's too wrinkled. Like, Treat the virtual space just like you would if you were meeting someone in person when it comes to how you attire yourself and really how you present yourself. Because even though we're in a time right now where we are doing a lot more work from home and a lot more virtual conferences, that does not mean we want to diminish how we present ourselves because our brands will continue to live on long after we come out of this time period. So I'd say to put your, your best foot forward and do this, right? So if you're going through your closet, and you are looking at something and you are thinking to yourself, self, I am not sure if I should wear this. That's it. Trust your instinct and do not wear that to your video conference. Leave it in the closet, keep on going to the next thing and find something that's going to allow you to put your best foot forward and to look and feel your best when you are in front of the camera. That is all I have for you. I hope you have enjoyed this entire series. We've talked a lot about how to prepare for video conferences. We've talked about how to select the mic. We've talked about how to put on some clothing so that you're prepared for your next video conference. 
So I hope you're more comfortable, more prepared, and you feel more at ease as you go into your next one. Thank you so much for allowing me to have this conversation with you. And um, hopefully I will be seeing you again soon. But in the meantime,